Welcome to the Start It, Own It, Finish It podcast with Dat Boy Mo 629. Discussing everything fitness and everything motivation. Here is where you will get your fitness education and motivational fix. Now, here's your host, Dat Boy Mo 629. What's going on, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Start It, Own It, Finish It podcast. Thank you all for tuning in. It's that boy Mo629. Today, I'm going to talk about... I'm actually going to go off subject a little bit. I'm not going to talk about actual fitness. I'm not going to talk about... I'm not going to talk about uh, working out. I'm not going to talk about really motivation. I'm going to talk about some stuff that's in the news right now. And this is... Uh, excuse me. I didn't... Excuse me. Um, Shikari Richardson. For those of you that don't know, this is a... Uh, a sprinter, a female sprinter, African American, a uh, black girl, um, that was recently in the news for failing a drug test. Um, she took a drug test. She ran the one hundred meter dash, I believe it is, and uh, she won with a with a time of I believe ten point six eight seconds. Uh, <laughs> and how fast she ran this right here, and she was a high favorite outside of the. Uh, Jamaicans in the Olympics in Tokyo. And, you know, the African American community um has been praising her, has been um on her side, has been basically put her on a pedestal of of taking over even the the, the reins of Flojo. Putting her in the same conversation of Flojo. And uh she recently been popped for failing the drug test and the Olympic Committee had disqualified her win at the 100 meter dash um, race, and she is no longer able to race in that race. Now, with her being disqualified from that, that doesn't discount her from other races that she can qualify for. She can actually um, qualify for the 4x100, which is a different type of race. Uh, she can qualify for that. There's a trial run for that. So she can qualify for that. She's not disqualified for that. So she can still make it to the, excuse me. She can still make it to the Olympics. Now, uh, here is where I, I step in and give my thoughts on this whole situation right here. Now she got popped for filling a drug text, which is marijuana. And you know, there's, whole lot of different debates out there people the weed weed is uh legal in a lot of states um in america weed is is is, is slowly becoming a legal drug so because it's come from the earth it shouldn't be illegal that's what people say um where i come in and my opinion on this is that you know the rules Right, whether it's legal, whether it's illegal, whether it should not be legal, whether it shouldn't be illegal, the rule is marijuana is a banned drug when you are tested in the Olympic world. It's banned. So, with that being said, you popped positive, so you were disqualified from the event that you won. Now, Shikari came out, didn't give an excuse, didn't blame anyone else, didn't do anything, you know, say, what about this and what about that? Shikari owned it. This girl is 21 years old. Say what you want to say. Fake lashes, fake nails, fake hair, tattoos, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Sound like she's a Bama, whatever you want to say about her, whatever. This girl came out, chin up, and said, I messed up. I'm human. That's it. She owned her mistake. She's 21 years old. Still got a whole lot of growing up to do. She's still a child, basically. Her prefrontal cortex ain't even fully developed. But she came out and owned her mistake. Let's move forward. My problem is everyone else is not trying to own (laughs) her mistake, letting her own her mistake. She knew the rules. I messed up. 
My fault. My bad. Everyone else is making excuses. Well, what about this? Well, what about that? In any other sport, no matter what race you are, no matter what gender you are, you get popped, you get punished. Period. Every other sport. There are no exceptions. You fail a drug test, you're popped, you're fined, suspended, or in some cases, exiled from the sport, depending on how many times you do it. Look at UFC. Look at the, 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 the WWE, Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns is the, the breadwinner of WWE. A couple years ago, Roman Reigns failed a drug test. Guess what? He was suspended for 30 days. See, he got 30 days off, dog. No pay. Bye. That's strike one. WWE had the three-strike rule. 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, done. Fired. Terminated. Now, my issue, like I said before, is everyone else is making excuses for this girl. But the girl is not making excuses for herself. And that's the mindset of champions and winners and go-getters, right, versus those who are not. Jakari Richardson is a champion. Jakari Richardson messed up. People make mistakes. That's why they have your on pencil. People will make mistakes. The human element. They make mistakes. We all make mistakes, right? Trip and fall. Misspeak. Make mistake all the time. Shakari, light of the joint. She was very emotional. She said what it was. Ease her anxiety. Whatever. She was going through her emotions. Due to a tragedy in her family. And she owned it. It wasn't a smart move. Now will she learn from it? I don't know. Too soon. But I hope she do. I hope she come back stronger. I hope she makes the money that she is in, entitled to make because of her talent. Because this girl deserves a whole, she in, 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 in line for a whole boatload of money. She is. She is in line for a whole lot of money. And this one hiccup probably cost her millions of dollars. But how she... Takes that lesson and learn from it and then spin it around. That's up to her. No one else. It's up to her. Will she lose? Will she fall off? Will she feel bad for herself? Will she stop training as hard? Will she lose focus? We don't know. We don't know that yet. But from what I do know, that that's Shikari Richardson. is a champion. She owns Everything she does. She starts it. She owns it. And I hope she finishes it. That's my thoughts on that. So if you listen to the podcast, thank you for listening in. Until next time, you know what it is. You've been listening to the Start It, Own It, Finish It podcast. Be sure to subscribe to receive new episodes. Link up with Dad Boy Mo 629 on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Or visit him at aceonewarrior.com. Until next time, start it, own it, finish it.